Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna walk through how to connect your Squarespace website to Google Search Console. I'm gonna show you the way to do this manually with no other connections. There's probably seven ways you can do this. I'm gonna show you the main way you can do it where you're basically just connecting your site and Google Search Console together, that's it. If you have Google Analytics, it simplifies it. There's other ways to do it through the DNS records and other stuff but I'm gonna show you the main way to do it through Squarespace and Google Search Console, and then one backend thing you want to make sure you do as well, so stay tuned. One note, there are two methods I'm gonna walk through in this video for you so you can see how to do this. One of the methods will require a business plan or hire for this to work. So just keep that in mind as we get started. And so first and foremost, I have the site up here. What I wanna do is I wanna connect the main domain. This is so important. For SEO, you whatever domain you use is the main domain. You don't have five domains, you have one domain. For Google Search Console, you want everything to push to the main domain. So I'm gonna click on settings, as I just did a moment ago, then click on domains. And then here you're gonna see, oh, this is interesting. Uh, this one needs to get fixed. Oh, I think we actually got rid of this. Anyway, the missionjournal.com right here is the one we wanna use. So this is the one I'm gonna click on just to double check it. Everything looks good, everything is well. This is the domain I want to use. So I'm just gonna highlight that and copy it. We're gonna use that in our process. So then just go to Google, type in Google Search Console. The first thing that comes up is gonna be Google Search Console. And then from there, you'll see a page that looks like this. You'll hit start now. And once you do that, you'll get logged in. It looks something like this. It changes, it updates, so it might look a little different. But what you're gonna wanna do is click on select property and then click add property. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to, in this section here, I'm just gonna drop in the domain and then I'm gonna hit continue and you'll see it's verifying the property now and it's saying, hey, look, this is for GoDaddy. So we need to start a verification process. Let's walk through it. So I will click start verification. It's gonna open a new tab. It's actually gonna log me into GoDaddy right away, which is pretty cool, makes it really simple. And then I would hit connect and we'll be good to go. So what it needs now, let's see, we can't find your verification token in the TXT records. We found these DNS to you instead. So it gave me that error message and then I just went through the process two or three times and then it just refreshed right now and said, good to go. And when I say I went through it two or three times, basically what happened is I just clicked through it and it went through the same process twice. So nothing fancy, nothing crazy, but from there I'm good to go. And now I could go to the property. So now it's been verified. Now you can see it is here. This is the cool part. So a lot of info is coming in. We'll take a look at this in a sec but I'm actually gonna go back to add property. And then here, I'm gonna start adding in the prefixes. So I'm gonna do this and then type that in. I'm gonna make sure I have the S because S just adds another layer of security. You're gonna wanna make sure that you use that. So I'll hit continue. It's gonna say, hey, I wanna verify the property. Because we did the domain name provider, it's gonna verify it. So we're good to go. It's now verified as well. So it's really cool, really easy. I mean, you just type this in. So you can see here, now we have two properties, domain property and then a specific prefix with the HTTPS. So that's how you do it through the whole domain. But let's say you're just having trouble with that and you wanna do it a different way. Let me show you another way. All right, so what I would do here is I come in here, add property. So I go directly to the URL prefix and I type in the full domain again with the HTTPS. I'll hit continue and you're gonna see, it's gonna give me a few options. This is the magical screen. There's a lot of ways to do this. It's a little bit confusing. I'm gonna show you what to do. HTML file for Squarespace you can do, but we're, we're gonna stay away from that. There's an easier way. You can do it with the HTML tag. Now. I mentioned in the very beginning, you could do it with Google Analytics, you could actually do it with Google Tag Manager as well, and the domain provider like I did with GoDaddy a moment ago, but we're gonna just do it with the HTML tag. This is probably the easiest, simplest, and quickest way to get it set up immediately. So you open this up, and then you just copy this. Then from there, you're gonna go back to your website, and just to show you from the start, we're gonna click Settings, and then we're gonna click advance. And then from there, we're gonna click code injection. Now here, anywhere you like, 
you can add in the code. So I know this is a code break here. So I'm going to add it right there. You can add it at the very top here, however you like, right? I don't need two of them. So I'm just going to leave it. Actually, I'm going to keep this top one and get rid of this one here. So just like that, I'll hit save. And because I've saved it, now I go back here and I click verify. Ta-da! It will be verified with the HTML tag. We're good to go. You can go to the property and now you could do all the magic you want to do with Google Search Console. Okay, now let me show you one last thing that's worth knowing uh, in this process. From here, I go all the way back to the home screen and then I would click on analytics. From there, I would click on search keywords. Now, you could see here, this account has been deactivated. This is perfect. Yours, if you're brand new or you've never done this before, it'll say connect for the first time type of thing. So you'll hit connect. It'll pull up a login screen, which I'll pull up here. I'm going to use the same email I just used a moment ago. And then I'll say, hey, we want to allow access. Boom. Just like that, you verify it. And now what it's going to do is it will connect Google Search Console to your site. So it will pull the keyword data. It will pull the search keywords, as you can see here, and show you what people are searching, what you're getting clicks for, all of that. So just like that, you've connected Google Search Console to your site. Again, if you had Google Analytics already set up, this would have been an easier process. And if you do the domain name provider that route, it makes everything else easier as well. So as long as you do one of them, you're good to go. If you start with a domain name provider that's too hard, do the prefix. Just do the prefix. That's a great place to start. You still will be able to index your whole site with just using the prefix. Make sure you use the most important prefix, HTTPS, and go from there. Friends, if you got value from today's video, hit that like button. When you hit the like button, it tells the YouTube algorithm some fancy, important, critical information, but it tells me you got value from today's content. So hit the like button. Next, if you're looking to beef up or boost or 10X your Squarespace website, check out the links below. We have a ton of resources for you. Plugins, downloadables, eBooks, blog posts, a ton of things for you. Finally, if you got value from today's video and you're looking for more content just like this, consider subscribing. We publish three new videos a week. I can't believe we're publishing three videos a week right now. It's a lot of content, but we are. We're publishing three, maybe even four videos a week right now. So if you want more content like this, consider subscribing and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.